Well, have a look at this. This is something you don't see every day. This is one of Australia's most venomous snakes, Western Brown. We've come across him and he's actually choked on a mouse, which is really bizarre. Now there are about nine different color phases. This one's got 14 incomplete bands around him. They can be black, they can be light colored. They can have a black head, like a black headed python. They can have a really light colored head as well. In the hotter summer months, he wants to warm up quicker. It'll have a darker coloration. This guy's actually choked on a mouse, which is really bizarre. And I thought I just had to uh, had to film this really bizarre occasion. So uh, two things have happened here. He's either he's either just choked on it and couldn't regurgitate it in time, or at the end of the trachea, when snakes swallow their prey, they push their trachea out of their mouth, and at the end of the trachea is a little glottis, it's a little valve which they breathe through. So he's either choked on it, he couldn't get his trachea out of his mouth, or maybe the mouse has bitten it, but who really knows? Typical characteristic with these brown snakes also with the, the Easterns and the Westerns are the orange blotches on the belly there also. He's got more of a yellow marking around his face. Now I've also obviously got to be careful handling this snake, even though he's dead, if my finger went inside his mouth and one of those fangs just scratched the surface of my skin, he could still quite easily envenomate me. And a bite from one of these snakes is potentially fatal without the right treatment. Who would have thought I'd seen the day where I saw a little mouse take out one of our most venomous snakes in Australia? Bizarre.